All right, everybody, we do have a live interview on tap for you here on News Now from Fox this morning talking about this launch that was supposed to happen tomorrow. And now we are learning that it has been pushed back to Friday. It is a breaking news alert here on News Now from Fox. So we are currently joined by a NASA astronauts. Very exciting nonetheless this morning to talk about this launch. Hi, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us this morning uh, to talk about now what we are calling breaking news in regards to this launch. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Thanks. Thank you so much. Uh, so again, everyone, this is astronaut Laurel O'Hara. We really appreciate you joining us. Yeah, so we just learned from you guys that this launch we were expecting at 6.11 in the morning tomorrow is now being pushed back to Friday and it's due to weather, right? It, that's correct, it is due to weather. Um, in the days leading up to a launch, obviously we watch the weather really closely and monitor it for any problems because uh, safety is the most important thing. So we'll be looking forward to this launch on Friday now. All right, so obviously this is the second commercial crew rotation to the International Space Station, ISS for short, with commercial partner SpaceX. The crew of four astronauts will join the Expedition 65 crew for a six-month science mission. They'll temporarily increase the station's population to 11 for five days until the four astronauts from the first commercial crew conclude their six-month mission and return to Earth. So with SpaceX and Boeing commercial crew spacecraft both having four seats for NASA missions, one more than a Russian Soyuz, what does NASA gain by having an additional seat and expanding the space station crew to seven? Yeah, that's a great question. So really what that does is expand the capability of the International Space Station uh, by um, the additional seats allow us to send more people up to space, both astronauts and uh, and pr even private citizens, and as, uh, as well as more science payloads. So what that translates into is, is more research capability on the space station. The ISS is a laboratory with a very unique quality microgravity. What kind of research do the crews conduct in the lab in space? Uh, crews on the space station conduct all different kinds of research. Uh, some of this research, or actually probably most of this research, uh, benefits um, our lives here on Earth. And then some of it is also uh, looking towards the future, looking at the exploration missions we're planning to do um, to the moon and Mars. And so it's, it's a really an incredible breadth of research. Uh, the crew launching on Friday is going to be doing um, all sorts of things. They're gonna be doing medical experiments. They're going to be doing uh, physical science experiments. They're gonna be doing um, even agricultural experience experiments. And uh, one of the coolest I th payloads I think is called Earth Observation, which I think um, is kind of topical given Earth Day is tomorrow. And that is actually um, the crew on orbit um, observing the Earth and taking photos. And um, that's been one of the longest running payloads on space station and it lets us um, study how the Earth changes over time. So astronauts have been observing everything from um, natural disasters to uh, ocean currents to changing weather patterns uh, for the last 20 years. Well, we certainly want to thank you for joining us this morning and telling us what you can about the mission. Now again, push back to Friday and maybe we can reconnect tomorrow and chat about it again. So thank you for your time. Thanks for having me. Taking a live look now, everybody, at Capitol Hill.